I mean, when you look at hypnosis um, courses and their advertising, they tend, and, and individual hypnotherapists tend to say this kind of thing. Well, hypnosis is a natural state of relaxation and concentration with a heightened awareness induced by suggestion. They say things like that. And hypnotherapy is safe with no unpleasant side effects. You will hear everything being said. Hypnosis has nothing to do with sleep. It is just an extremely relaxed state. A hypnotist cannot influence you to do anything against your own will. Your own moral code will protect you from doing anything against your best interests. Um, do you recognize those kind of statements? The sort of thing that they, they say all the time. Now here's some modern myths about hypnosis. Hypnosis is a natural state of relaxation and concentration <laughs> with a heightened awareness induced by suggestion. Um, you can put someone into a deep hypnotic strait by, by bellowing an order at them, um, by pummeling them, by shocking them, by firing the orientation response. Nothing to do with relaxation at all. And yet it's still a profound hypnotic state. And incidentally, it's not induced by suggestion. You can, you can do all those, all those things just environmentally or through expectancy. It's safe with no unpleasant side effects. No, it's not. Uh, that is another lie. One of the biggest um, causes which we got involved with and really helped put us on the map, the, the journal and so forth, was the induction, the in inducement of false memories, um, which, which, which largely uh, came through hypnosis or psychotherapists and psychiatrists and social workers and so on, not realizing that people were in trance states when ideas about abuse that must have happened when they were a child have been forgotten were put to people. But because they were in trance states, they started to think it must be true and, and, and started accusing innocent people of abusing them when they were children without any evidence. Um, that's just one um, unpleasant side effect, but there are others, many others. You will hear everything being said, and you've all worked with people, and they, they, you know that they haven't got a conscious memory of a lot of what you said at all. It, it, you, 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 it just haven't. Hypnosis has nothing to do with sleep. It's directly to do with your sleep, because we're accessing the REM state, which we spend a quarter of our time in when we're asleep. And you can access the REM state directly by talking to somebody when they're in the REM state and asleep. You notice someone's eyes moving, you start talking. I've not tried this, but um, it's, it's well researched. A hypnotist um, cannot influence you to do anything against your own will. Oh, yes, they can. There's massive bit of evidence that they can. Um, your own moral code. Well, moral codes are normalization and will protect you from doing anything against your best interests. There's lots of people um, that, that have, have done things which afterwards have they felt ashamed because they were in a hypnotic trance and done illegal things as well. The way we're working therapeutically, it's so easy to get most people into a relaxed state. Um, ex ex except for people, Aspergery people find it harder. Um, um, but you, you, even then, you, they will tend to relax. Um, and some people are very resistant, and there are tri tricky ways rounding that. But if they're that resistant, you know, you might think, well, you know, okay, that's your choice, you know. But you don't have to kind of shock them or do, do anything dramatic to them necessarily at all. You could work with them through logic or some other, other, uh, other approach.